welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some deep sea monsters. It's been a long time since we played a deep deck, so let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and play this classic. We, you know, we're going to be Maokai Nautilus going deep. Um, you know, had had a donation deck to to play some sea monsters, and it's been a little bit. So uh, this deck, of course, we're not doing a whole lot early, but we're going to just be trying to set up some defense and toss. All right, we're going to try to get. Um, as little amount of cards in our deck as possible because we want to go deep and obviously you know going deep means you have 15 or less cards in your deck once we're deep um, then our then we'll be able to play our nautilus which will level up whenever we're deep and it'll have our sea monsters all cost for less and it'll be a 13 13 tough and then we'll be able to just spew out a whole bunch of sea monsters and try to finish the game pretty quickly from that point. All right, so uh, you know that's about it with this deck. Y'all probably know it. Um, we're gonna be playing it in Masters rank. We're gonna play five games, hopefully go three, two, or better. And let's see how this deck does. Okay, Trundle Trindamir. So this is just going to be a race. They are another deck that's not doing very much early. And they're just going to be ramping while we're tossing. And so we're going to see whose late game works better. I mean, I, I like Dead Bloom Wanderer. I like Maokai. Um, I don't have anything early. Obviously, I like having the Nautilus as like the payoff. Our first two turns, we can kind of work towards the salvage. I'll just mulligan the salvage. Yuck, I'd rather have salvage. Because basically, like, the first two turns, even though, like, we wouldn't spend any mana, it's not that big a deal to not spend mana. Kind of wish I would have just kept the salvage. The salvage, of course, gets rid of four cards. Okay. That's how it's back. Oh wow, they have a good ramping hand. The trolls are going to war. I guess I just play this and you know get our sapling that can block. Of course, taking four damage isn't the biggest deal with us having a Dead Bloom Wanderer anyway. This next turn, though, I'm probably playing Salvage. I don't, I don't think I'm going to go with Devour Adepts right now, no. Yuck. I right, guess it's Thorny Toad. from deep right now. Great draw. Great draw. I'll make sure that we're deep next turn. I need to make sure they don't get to feel the rush next turn. Or at least try to keep them from feel the rushing next turn. Boo. This is why I don't like Vile Feast, right? Like, I hate the Spiderling. The Spiderling's just in the way. So they're all kind of in the way. Like, we don't we don't get a, a sapling anymore.
That's weird. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was gonna say. Attack! Get ready for a beatdown. Seven? Out of these six cards, so we're looking at like ruination. I'm not done. Twenty out of twenty five. So I want to keep I want to keep atrocity available. Oh yeah, I guess I should have ate Trundle. I don't know why I was I was just you know focused on like the power. Yeah, like I should have targeted Trundle. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, if they but I don't really know why they would play Vengeance. But I'd be happy if they did. I could use one more mana. One more mana would be nice, like where I could jettison and keep Atrocity available. Is there a slow speed draw four cards? I hope so. And they, they play like a slow speed draw four cards and then, then I jettison and level up Maokai. And then they draw their four and they die. It's not even a card, but I want it to happen. See, there's no reason for them to Vengeance, because they just go to combat and attack. And I'm obviously really dead. So they just get to hold up Vengeance. I only have one Atrocity in my deck. They also just, you know, play a Flash Freeze card. Yeah, that's... I can't imagine this Atrocity works, but I, we gotta try. Yeah, I just don't like the Atrocity line, but I guess that's... I guess that's all I got. Whoa! Whoa! How did that work? Life triumphs for once. Ezreal Swain. The worst version of Ezreal Darius. Sorry, Draven. Ezreal Draven. Cool, it's a good hand to mulligan. <clears throat> I could keep the... The five, you know, the uh, grass, the undying to kill an Ezreal, but I'd rather just try to, uh, you know, just mulligan and just try to do what our deck's trying to do. I love the slaughter docks here because we get to play the slaughter docks and they can't, you know, it's not like something they target. Now, hopefully, they don't have scorched earth, but you know, we're gonna keep them from leveling up their Ezreal. I'll just hold on to the dredgers. Never mind. Give me the stuff. Stuff make happy. <laughs> Ooh, that's bad. Those, all three of those were good cards to draw. <laughs> those are all toss cards. We don't want to. You don't want to toss the toss cards. So that was some bad tossing by me. Hopefully no Scorched Earth. There we go. Yeah, toss that card. Slaughter Dog's Ruination just works really well, too. It's a pretty cool combination. Take 
seven. Take eight. I'm just gonna play Ruination next turn. So one of each champion gone. And we're five away from deep. Yeah, they're probably just sitting on all removal spells. Second Ezreal down. Cool. Two Ezreals down. Play Thorny Toad or just hold on to mana and pass. Hold on to mana and pass. like the best one. Get some treasures. Yeah. Treasure trove. All right. Well, I could do that right now. Like, so, like, their plan is, like, Leviathan, probably. Yeah, let's play this treasure trove. Let's see what we get. get five cards. That could be pretty cool. Not exactly cool. It's alright though. Do I want to parade Electro Rig? Shuffle more shipwreck orders into my deck. I've been waiting for this. Probably take some more shipwreck orders. They're going down to two. Gonna stop atrocity. I don't think that they're really going to be able to. They have five mana. By atrocity, this ship recorder. Or, you know, like devour. How do they even stop it? I don't think it's really possible. Shipwreck Hoarder always puts in two different treasures. <clears throat> right? Like, I've never seen it put in two of the same treasure, right? Like, it doesn't specifically say put shuffle two different treasures. I've never seen it get two of the same treasure. Oh my gosh. Oh man. I should have atrocityed. I should have let that happen. Oh, that's crazy. Did y'all see what their tribe even Propulator did? It put in... Um, that 3-3 elusive that just bounced their Swain and Leviathan back to their hands. <laughs> oh man, I, I, I really wish I just didn't cast the Atrocity. I wish I would have just let that happen. And then go to attacks. That's pretty funny. 
Alright, same matchup. Let's get those Slaughter Docs again. That was... Those cards were awesome. Slaughter Docs was... Was great. Yes, I love getting that Slaughter Docs. Mulligan this, Mulligan this. I'll just Mulligan that too. Ah. Hoping for another Slaughter Docs. Let's find one more. No, atrocity! Uh, Withering Whale, Vile Feast are our two worst cards. Find another slaughter docks. <laughs> Not another withering whale. At least they have just a bunch of house spiders. Discard. My best card. I'm gonna pass. I don't know I could play the dredgers, but passing means I can ca cast ruination next turn if we so choose. I don't think I'm playing devour depths next turn anyway. Alright, so we've tossed an Atrocity, a Vengeance, and a Ruination. One of each. So that means that I have one of each left. They're in my hand. So no more uh, kind of big of removal like those. Uh, what do you give me? You give me five cards left. I think I'm going to Vengeance. Yeah, I think we're going to Vengeance this turn. And we're going to cast Ruination next turn whenever they play Leviathan. And then the next turn after that, turn 9, is when I start playing... Uh, you know, then, then we'll be deep. We'll play Nautilus and this kind of stuff. Yeah, Nightfall's a tough one. No, our other Slaughter Dogs. We had to toss two of them. Nightfall's a tough one to play. Destination in sight. All right, so we got that out of our hand before we play Nautilus. Maokai's only at 15. Deploy. The water rises. Maybe we should play that salvage first. be doing that plus ravenous block. Artillery barrage. Sixteen. 
So do I go Maokai plus Devour and then and get a Sapling and then attack and have my Sapling be able to challenge? The tide rises. Or just attack right now? The Isles will bloom again. The depths take you. Noxus will not conquer the Shadow Isles. Curious, you think we'd seek blessed vengeance? Justify yourself. You dare oppose Noxus. You lack discipline. How tedious. No, your place. Right, so they killed the Maokai. That's okay, though. We have more Maokais in here. Because that should level us up, right? Oh, no. It's only at six. Okay, now that'll level it up. They didn't need to Mystic Shot Maokai. They could have Mystic Shotted... Yeah, because like, this is just going to kill Maokai anyway. Like, they could have just Mystic Shot one of my 7-7s. Seven Alright, so well, we should be good. Pretty good devourer. So that's their second Leviathan gone. Alright, Captain Farron. Your cause is lost, Triad. Why fight? Because no one else will. <laughs> and so grow tall. Grow strong! <clears throat> All right, Maokai leveled up. I'm still good on cards. I don't have to really worry about it, you know, milling me out or anything like that. Could play the Abyssal Eye and cover up the Maokai. And so life springs anew. Alright, GG's. Our deep sea monsters are 3 and 0. Oh. We will heal these isles. This one's gonna be tougher than the other version of this deck because like Mina Swiftfoot is devastating. Um, let's keep slaughter docks and salvage. This is where we we would want our cheap toss things. Salvage isn't necessarily a cheap toss thing, but it is a toss thing. It does help us go deep fast. It gets rid of four cards. It can also dig us towards, like, the one mana cards. I don't want Withering Whale at all. Yeah, Draven Fizz was awesome. We we went 5-0 with Draven Fizz. Yeah, it was really good. It was, um, it was pretty impressive. We uh, even played against a lot of Gohard decks. And stole some games and everything. Joke debate. <laughs> Emotes are so good. No, I want that dread stretchers. The Isles will bloom again. We're almost there. 
one out of 25. But we got the first one. Yeah, I, I the wither yeah the withering whale the vile feast haven't looked very good, but these are kind of the matchups that we're playing. I think that the thing is is like these matchups are usually ones like where we're a little bit better in anyway. The decks that are really aggressive are the decks that give uh, this kind of deck a, a lot of fits, and uh, that's where withering whale and vile feast can shine more. Like the the draven jinx discard deck. Really need Withering Will against that, and then even even like the Twisted Fate Go Hard deck, Withering Will is great there too. So we are playing, uh, we are playing against matchups where Withering Will isn't good, but overall I think the Withering Will, uh, it's it's a necessary card for our toughest matchups, even though it hasn't looked good yet. We're still five away from deep. We're still 16 away from leveling up Maokai. About to be 15 when the sapling dies. Patience. All right, we're going deep. They should have one mana 5-5. Five five. I don't know if they're going to play it or not. They're just passing. So I don't know if I want to use Devour on any of these things. I don't really. Death begins your forever fable. the tides. Ruination could be a really good answer to Mina Swiftfoot. Alright, 19. I can't make that 25 this turn. I'm guessing they have the other 1 mana 5-5 five five in hand. Okay. GG's. They... You know, don't really have an answer to Maokai, and Maokai going to level up. Okay. Well, we have... So the question is, is, is Deep actually good? I think it's in a pretty good spot. We have played against a lot of slower decks, and I think there are a lot of slower decks in the metagame right now. There's a lot of Shadow Isles decks, and I think Deep can do well against those kind of decks. We haven't really faced, we haven't faced any Noxus or any aggro that usually will run over a deep deck. Who would trespass here? It's a slow hand right now. We swim within the flows of magic. Magic. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. This is a difficult decision. I guess I cast Grasp on the River Shaper so they don't draw another spell. But then the Shen does make this Green Glade Caretaker more of a threat. Um, other like it's those are two options: Grasp the River Shaper or Vengeance the Shen. If I Vengeance the Shen, then they don't get the free barrier and they're only attacking for three. But then they do get to draw a card. But then they just have a 1-2 and a 2-2. Two, two. 
And vengeance the Shen. This River Shaper is throwing a, a fit in my plans. You know, if it's like Fiora, they're just doing damage to me. But drawing spells, I don't like that. Oh, I want that Ruination. But I did get... I did get to play that uh, that vengeance when they didn't have deny, so that's that's a important factor. We got fourteen away from deep. This would have been better as the one mana one one, where I could have played Maokai than the one mana one one and get the two two challenger. I think I may just play Abyssal Eye. That's not great. Could just go Salvage and Jettison, but then that's not great. I don't know. I don't have a great option. Yeah, Shen Fiora is this is a not like Shen Fiora is a really good quality deck. It's a very underrated deck. I I never like seeing Shen Fiora on the other side of the board, basically no matter what I'm playing. Nature blesses her followers. River shape the land and give it life. Good. I'm down to two. Nothing stands in our way. A gift from the river folk. The waters are still. We're down to two. gonna play this Maokai basically as a blocker for the Scythria. There's a chance that they pass here thinking that I'm gonna play like another unit they'll make the sapling. survive this attack with double grasp the undying that is the question soldier to me that's bad all right so if they have any barrier card i lose if they have a single combat i lose so if they have like any spell if they have any spell in their deck if they have a deny i lose yeah that worked out well for them so yeah any any spell in their deck i lose Maybe they have no spells. Ah, they had a spell. GG's. Even after they, you know, drew cards with River Shaper, I was thinking that maybe they didn't have any, uh, any spells in their deck. Um, but yeah, I was, I was definitely impressed with how the the deep deck played. You know, went four one. Uh, the, the last one, our, our hand was just super slow. We really needed a dredge dredgers or, you know, a wander or something. Um, the slot, you know, we played the slaughter docks on three and could never level it up. Uh, or, you know, I guess it's not leveled up, but you know what I'm, I'm talking about. Couldn't toss fast enough. We just had too much of this expensive stuff. Withering Whale looked pretty bad, but we didn't play against any, like, Noxus Go Wide decks or, or the new Twisted Fate Go Hard deck where... Weathering Whale can be really clutch there as well. Shen Fiora is just an awesome deck. That's that's going to be a tough matchup. Um, but besides the Shen Fiora, we played against a bunch of uh, slower decks, and I liked how our I liked how the deep deck matched up against the slower decks. Uh, played against a couple Ezreal decks, and it felt really good there. And um, so I think did we just play against two Ezreal? Two, yeah, we played against two Ezreal and two Trundle. Trindamir. And we looked pretty good in both of those matchups. Slaughter Docks in particular looked great against Ezreal. That's that's a really good card <laughs> against Ezreal. Uh, but let's see. 
yeah, I think I think our list did pretty good. You know, we'd have to complete some more, see if there's be anything to change, but uh, that's it here for Deep Sea Monsters. Went really well. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.